His music as a tool to turn people from Christ to Satan. He seductively tried to draw Christians in by singing Hallelujah in My Sweet Lord in an effort to deceive them. Harrison knew about brainwashing children. He said, quote, the main thing is to get the kids, nail you when you're young and brainwash you. Then they've got you for the rest of your life. Notice here how Harrison deceptively switches from Hallelujah to Hare Krishna in an effort to turn Christians to Krishna. the Bhagavad Gita, the Hindu sacred book, Krishna identifies himself as, quote, the Lord of destruction, the serpent of eternity, the prince of demons. According to the Bible, these are references to Satan. George Harrison admitted, my idea in My Sweet Lord, because it sounded like a pop song, was to sneak up on them a bit. The point was, was to have the people not offended by Hallelujah, and by the time it gets to Hare Krishna, they're already hooked and their foot's tapping, and they're already singing along hallelujah to kind of lull them into a sense of false security. And then suddenly it turns to hard Krishna, and they will all be singing that before they know what's happened. And they'll think, hey, thought I wasn't supposed to like hard Krishna.